<laughs> hey, look. Today's video topic is whoever put you last, they gonna feel you first. Now, what inspired me to make this video? I remember I had made a freestyle a couple years ago, right? And on the second verse, I was like, whoever put a lick, my my bad, bad. <clears throat> whoever put a nigga last, they gonna feel me first. I'm a real solid nigga, always being down to earth, right? That's what I said. So that's what inspired me to make this video. So listen. Whoever put you last, they gonna feel you first, bruh. Because in this life, people gonna put you last, bro. People gonna put you down. People wanna see you down, you feel me? People are going to put them before you. People are going to count you out. But let me just tell you something, boy. Those individuals who put you last, them gonna be the ones who feel you first, bruh. Everybody who counted you out, everybody who felt like they was above or ahead, I promise you, them niggas, them bitches who counted you out, they gonna feel you first, bruh, whoever put a nigga last, they gonna feel me first, I'm a real solid nigga, always been down to earth, you get what I'm saying, trust me, trust me, whoever put the chosen ones last, gonna feel us first in the end, boy, I'm telling you. I just wanna let you know, dog. like, you just gotta keep your head up, bruh. Keep your head up, stay focused out here. And um, it seems like you feeling everybody else, everybody trying to make it seem as if they shine and they bling up. You know, this is what these people do. These people know that you are better than them. They know you are chosen. They know you stand for something that's real. They know you are ahead of them. But what they do is they try to make it seem as if they are ahead, like they got it like that, or they're better than you because they got some swag, this, that, and the third. That's how they do. They they have to do shit to make themselves look good, like get fresh, get swag. So when you check the Instagram, the IG, you can be pissed and mad. You feel me? Because see the police with the bullshit. They got to do this shit. You feel me? They got to do this shit to make you look bad, bruh. Not make you look bad, but to make themselves look good because you already look good. You feel me? So they got to get fresh on the gram and they got to look nice. They got to dress fresh. They got to do all these things just because they know you are not. Well, they are not on your level because they know you really that nigga. You feel me? Or you really that bitch. So these people is trying to rub it in your face that. They fresh, they got clothes, uh, they got this, they getting money now, right? They, this how these people work, bro, because they are jealous of me and you, bro. They're jealous, so they gotta flex on the ground. They gotta get dripped out and put on a false smile, a fake smile, because they're jealous of you. That's their way of making themselves feel good or ahead of you in life when that's not the case. So listen, individuals who try to do shit to you, trust and believe, they do it in a way to where it's like, they act like you don't exist or they don't acknowledge you at all. You feel me? They try to act like, <laughs> it's funny though. They try to do it in a way to where they act like you don't exist, but they're doing it just to piss you off because they're jealous of you. So listen, it's okay though, bro. Because in this life, let me tell you some shit, boy. Tables definitely do turn. And I want you to fully understand that shit. Tables definitely turn, boy. I hope you know that. So tables is getting ready to turn. Whoever puts you last, they gonna feel you first. The motherfuckers who flexed on you like they had it, wait till you got it. Because they flexed on you because you already above them. You already ahead of them. You get what I'm saying? You already built like that. You built for whatever. You chosen. You feel me? You shining without that shit. So if they jealous of you right now, and you ain't got it like that. They jealous of you right now. Just because of who you is and what you stand for. Wait till you get right. Wait till you get it together. Trust me, bro. You gonna get it together, bro. When you get it together, cuz... Mm-mm-mm. These people are in trouble, bro. Because when you flex after everything you've been through, cuz that shit is going to kill people's spirits, bro. Because these people... They ain't been through nothing. Look at this shit. 
<laughs> they ain't been through nothing, you feel me? It's something about individuals who have been through great hell in this life and they go against all odds and they make it to the top. It's something about that individual who went through great hell and in the end he flex on everybody's ass. Ooh, it's coming. I'm so goddamn happy because I know shit is about to take off. We about to lift off, dog. And when we lift off, <sighs> bruh, because they slept on you. You feel me? They slept. They slept on you. And you about to lift off on they ass on every level. And you about to do them how they did you. You about to flex on them how they flexed on you like they was above you when they, were, they really weren't, bruh. I told you, these people underhandedly try to stun on you, you feel me? They do it underhandedly, dog. They don't do it head up because they cowards. They stun on you underhandedly. Like, you'll just see them start getting fresh out of nowhere, right? And they doing it because they jealous of you, dog. They jealous of who you is, bro. They jealous of what you stand for, bro. And they know you that nigga or that bitch. So these people got to legitimately stun on you, bro. But it's underhanded stunting, you feel me? Facts, fam. On God, bro. Believe me. But listen, it's something about an individual who go against all odds. And that nigga come out on top, and he get everything. Hoes. She get everything. The niggas. She get the clothes, swag. He get the clothes, swag, car, new, new crib. He getting money now. And he ain't gonna never fall off ever again. He beat the odds, nigga. He beat the devil. He beat the devil at his own game. I'm telling you, it's something about individuals who go through great hell. When they make it, they just shine so fucking differently, bro. We seen this shit in movies, bro. This shit is a movie. Me and you are legends. When we come up, our shine gonna be different. Our flex up gonna be different. You feel me? Because they ain't know we was next up. You feel me? You feel me? Trust me, bro. So listen, I'ma wrap this shit up, dog. <laughs> Whoever put you last, I promise to God on the ancestors, bro. These people gonna feel you first, bro. First handedly. Because you went through more than what they did. You did more than what they did. And guess what? When you do the most, you go through the most. But in the end, you get the most and you become the most. Yeah. So they did the least and everything they got was cheap. <laughs> everything they got was cheap, you feel me? But you, you did the most, so you went through the most just to get the most out of life. And trust me, the abundance, the prosperity, that shit coming, boy. And these people was gonna be hunted. They gonna be fucking scared. They scared of your success right now. They not trying to see you make it. Because an individual who beat the odds like that and make it, cause that nigga goes down or that bitch goes down in history. You already, a legend in the making, you already going down in history. Yeah, the chosen ones, me and you going down in history. This shit is history right now. We beat the odds. And it's only the fucking beginning. So don't worry about it, I'ma wrap this shit up. Those who put you last will feel you first in the end, I promise you. So look, I love you guys so much. Y'all stay tuned for more content. And yeah, thug on the rock on my game.